G'day everyone, Jamie Chapman here for another episode of 3 Minute Histology. Today we're going to be uh, introducing our look at the integumentary system. So we're going to have a look at the integumentary system as a whole, and then in further videos we're going to be having a look at a, a bit more detailed uh, look at the histology of the various sublayers and the various components that we can find associated with the integumentary system. So let's start our 3 minutes. So the integumentary system often we just think of as skin, but of course it's other structures as well. Um, so the integumentary system, uh, certainly in this section, can be divided into three main layers. The first of the layers is the epidermis, which is the outermost layer of epithelial tissue. It's made up of a stratified squamous keratinized epithelium, um, and that's this layer here. And then we have um, a layer of uh, connective tissue, or two layers of uh, connective tissue known as the dermis and the uh, layer immediately beneath the uh, epidermis here is known as the papillary dermis because it forms these sort of projections if we sort of zoom in here uh, we can actually see these little upward projections of the uh, connective tissue the papillary dermis and these are known as dermal papillae uh, which um, means little projections and this is made up of a layer of loose connective tissue if we zoom out again we'll then see this layer of dense irregular connective tissue this is the, the largest component of skin Skin, and this is known as the reticular dermis. And the reticular dermis, uh, as you can probably see even from this low magnification, is made up of these big, thick bundles of um, collagen and elastic fibers. And uh, this is dense, irregular connective tissue. So it has fibers running in many different directions so that skin's able to withstand forces and abrasion from many different directions. We zoom out again a little bit more, um, we can then see the third component. Um, now this isn't a component of skin, but it's actually a, a, a larger component of the integumentary system. And this is known as the subcutis or the hypodermis. And you can see that it's predominantly made up of adipose tissue or subcutaneous fat. Uh, so if we sort of zoom in here, we have that sort of typical uh, chicken wire type of appearance or netting like of appearance because these are all unilocular type of adipose tissue, one big large lipid droplet that gets removed during processing for microscopy. So all we're left with is this little ring of cytoplasm and the odd nucleus in our plane of section. You will see, though, um, as part of the subcutis, we do have these um, dense connective tissue uh, layers here. And there's a little bit of controversy out there in the literature about the um, naming of these different layers. So uh, some anatomists, gross anatomy textbooks, refer to as this entire region as... Um, uh, subcutaneous uh, areas or superficial fascia, uh, whereas some uh, anatomists refer to as this connective tissue band as the um, superficial fascia and then potentially the, the deep fascia down here. Well, about that does it for the, an overview of the integumentary system. In the next lectures, we'll be having a look at, at each of these sub layers in a little bit more detail. I hope you found this useful. Hooroo!